Okay guys, welcome back. Bit of an unboxing um, package came. Let's see what's in there. Player one. So this is the Mono 462C camera, and um, all the manufacturers do a superb uh, 426C chip. Excuse the noise, but um, this one stood out to me for the reasons that um, the front glass on it has. Uh, transparency from right down at 300 nanometers um, all the way up above 1100 nanometers so um, it will benefit my um, imaging a bit more as my UV pass filter is 300 to 400 nanometers like some of the uh, the other OEMs start at 350 nanometers so that basically renders half of my uh, UV bandpass null and void so um, very excited cables what have we got guiding cable capture cable I do have a um, the Neptune C camera as well one thing I'll say about this guiding cable uh, sorry this um, capture cable is the flat bands on it as opposed to the thicker round cords they really do bend a lot better so they don't when they're hanging down off the um, scope they don't um, put weight on the scope and if you move your laptop or something like that your scope doesn't wobble so uh, a lighter cable is uh, something I really noticed when I um, got the Neptune C for the first time so I really like that um, dust blower Really good, got two of them now. And here we are. Mars 2. So it's an IMX 462C chip, but mono. Very, very good IR response and even down into um, UV. A good response as well. Um, Tom Williams has been getting excellent um, penis images in UV at the moment. He's using the ZWA version but um, essentially the same chip. The software uh, each of them use is different which makes minor details but um, you can guarantee that you can get the images if you've got the scene. So look forward to using this and um, hopefully I get clear skies. All right, everyone. Bye for now.